Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Taurus. This reading is for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node Virgo. Holy Spirit, angel, guide, spirit, guide. What is the full moon message for Virgo? Hi, Virgo. Oh, my God. Scorpio just got this. <laughs> you may want to go listen to their reading, Virgo. Could have something to do with you. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Mm. There is something that has been making you uncomfortable, but it's bringing about a change that's going to cause you to win. I don't know what's going on with you. Leave me a comment, but the outcome is that you're going to win. Mm. Okay, spirit. Yeah, because the outcome involves your north node, which is what you were fated to do, who you were fated to be with, who you were destined to be with. If you were fated or destined to be with a Scorpio, definitely check out their reading. Um, okay, Divine Masculine shows up, right? Some masculine energy, some power, some protection even. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. Okay. Yeah, your destiny. Hmm. Tell me more. Two cards of the North Node. Something about your destiny or what you're fated to do. Your path. When love, okay, could have something to do with love, um, okay, Virgo, mm -hmm. mm. full moon energy, Holy Spirit, angel guides, what is the message for Virgo concerning the full moon. The full moon is in the sign of cancer. Um, this could concern a loved one, love, you protecting a love, being protected by a love. I don't know. But I do know this is a time for your masculine energy to take priority. Um, Spirit wants you to be logical. You come in with the need to... Um, you're very detailed. And so Spirit wants you to um, pay attention to the details. Um, the details, uh, be logical regarding them, review them. Mm -hmm. You know, the waxing gibbous moon is all about reviewing, reevaluating, making adjustments. There's something he wants you to pay attention to, um, to review it, right? To be assertive, to protect it even. Maybe you have to go back over something. Um, you're doing something. Okay, that is making you feel a little uncomfortable. Why? Because it's new. I feel like it's new. It's pulling you out of your comfort zone. It's something you haven't done before. And so you're like taking a risk. I feel like the full card is here. You're following your heart. The North Star. Mm, somebody was looking up at stars yesterday. But... You're right where you're supposed to be, Virgo, uh, finding your life path, you know. Uh, you may feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I feel like others are challenging what you're doing because they don't understand it because it's not their calling. It's your calling and nobody else has to understand that but you, right? Mm. Yeah, there are some karmic challenges around your calling, your north node. Whatever you're doing right now, I think it's the challenges that are making you feel uncomfortable. It's not really the calling. Um, and Spirit wants you to make that differentiation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
yeah, even though you're feeling uncomfortable about this, things are going to change. Um, stay focused. Mm -hmm. Some of you need to refocus because they distracted you. Some of you, you know, you're taking a detour. Or there's a delay. I don't know, but everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Maybe um, something you thought you were going to get. It hasn't come through. Spirit just said, you know, a delay. Some of you have been redirected, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you know, this is like past energy uh, where things didn't work out for you. Something tangible didn't come through, right? And that's because things weren't balanced. Um, maybe others are involved. Karma could be involved. There's something about that. There's a truth that you'll find out why certain goals and aspirations that you were going for maybe haven't come to fruition, like they've been delayed, but by who, for what reason. But either way, the end result is a win. The forecast is a winning formula for you. Yeah, I see some of you becoming happy, you know. Um, you know, happiness is not something that can be taken from you. And I, I feel like, you know, others are like judging you, criticizing you for what you're doing, how you're doing it from a work standpoint or I don't know, you know, uh <sighs> Maybe they don't think that what you're doing is a stable venture, a secure thing, but you're answering, you're following your heart, you're answering your calling. Mm. And when you fulfill your purpose, do what you were called to do, I mean, come on, there's no better feeling. You, And also your North Node, I always tell everybody, your calling is something that is going to make you happy. You know, you don't know that. Some of us don't know that initially. But as you get into it, you see how it aligns with you, your soul. You see how this is what you are supposed to do. You will know it, right? And so I feel like that's happening. That's happening now. Maybe the evolution started earlier in 2023, but it's kind of... You know, you're out there now. Everybody can see you, love me or leave me. I don't know. But I do feel that, you know, um, mm, people are coming around. It takes time. You know, initially they may not see things clearly. You know, it's not your job to make people understand everything about you, what you do. Um, some people feel like they got to justify themselves. Uh-uh. You know, you're, this is very personal. They have their own purpose for being here. Their own calling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it may be something creative. has something to do with the arts. Um, okay. Virgo. I also see something up ahead regarding love, romance. Could be with somebody in the arts. But, you know, you have a new perspective. This North Node made you feel uncomfortable. But in the future, it brings about enormous change. Um, in the past, when things didn't work out, that impacted your confidence. And this North Node energy brings it back around. It, it, it like infuses you with courage, opens you up to change. You know, what you're destined to do may find you uh, moving, relocating to another part of the country, uh, to a new apartment, a new space, a new office. I don't know. But I feel that there, this north node that's making you feel uncomfortable has you even moving um yeah you're on the move there's travel it could just be sheer progress that i'm seeing and feeling too but either way there's even some communication that comes to you whereas in the past you didn't get it with the ace of earth reverse but now is the time 
Mm, major change, major change. And you opened up with expect powerful change because this winter right now, you didn't get it in the past, but this change brings about something new. Yeah, it clears up the confusion. Why? Because truth, you know, light always clears confusion. Mm. Yeah, you know, this full moon sees you letting go of what other people care about. Who who cares what they think? Again, this is a personal thing. Tell me more, spirit. You open up with the emperor because you need to be in your stay in your power when it comes to this change. It's big. Not everybody's down with this change to the swords. Yeah. You know, not everybody feels at peace with what you're doing, but your job's not to make them feel comfortable. It's for you to answer your calling. Prince of Swords is crossing this because others don't really understand it. They're like trying to gather information on what you're talking about on your calling. Some of you are uh, influencers. Some of you are called to YouTube. Some of you are reading tarot. We know people don't like tarot because they don't understand it. Um, you know, some of you are stepping into jobs that make people feel uncomfortable but you can't contain the spirit right everybody's watching you but i don't think they understand you and if they don't understand you then they're challenging you with the two of swords some are actually taking opportunities from you four of cups that's the eighth of ace of earth you know the four of cups reversed um they've taken opportunities from you in the past because, mm, because you're doing something different that they don't understand. Something that makes you uh, stand out. Mm. But I will tell you, yeah, they're talking about everything that you do. Uh, your happiness in general. Somebody, damn Virgo, somebody's trying to attack your happiness. Whatever you're doing, you feel that you were called to do. If you feel like somebody's interfering with that, they are. They are. Mm. Whew. They're doing character assassination, Virgo. They are talking about you. They're talking about something they don't even know about. Like if it is um, psychic abilities or spiritual awakenings, things like that. People are just associating that with negativity. You feel uncomfortable about this. But in the end, in the end, they're going to see. Mm -hmm. Look at that, the star. They're going to see that you are a star, that what you're doing is you're a healer. That's it. You're a healer. That's what this is about. Your North Node somehow has you as a healer. Now, we know a healer could be a therapist, a doctor, any type of doctor. You could be a Reiki teacher. You know, there's so many natural healing occupations out there that you know people don't understand it because they haven't used it it's new to them something you're doing is making them uncomfortable mm -hmm. but spirit is saying do not let that stop you you are not here to make others comfortable i don't know what this is about you are here to do what you're destined and called to do mm -hmm. Yeah, see, the toxicity is going to dissipate. It is, because once they you continue to do it, they will develop a deeper understanding of it, and their perspective is going to change. Their perspective is going to change. Right now, they don't understand it, you know? And so that's why they're putting it down. That's why they're putting you down. That's why they're giving you a thumbs down. But you know what? The high priestess is here. Yeah, I believe that you are being called uh, 
Pisces energy here. They don't see things clearly. You are being called in some type of... Mm. Psychic abilities, your um, intuitive self is being activated so that you can heal others. Uh, leave me a comment and tell me how you're a healer. But because they don't understand it, they feel uncomfortable at putting you down, really trying to hurt you, shut you down. But, you know, they cannot bring an end to the truth. Whoa, that's right. Something that is a life path you're fated to do, you're destined to do. Nobody can end that. You know, that's the truth. That is supposed to happen. And under spirits governance, it will. It will. You have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas here. Wow. Six. I mean, you, you know, like I said, whatever you are fated to do, nobody can stop that. Try as they may, but you can't stop the truth from coming forward. You can't stop something that's fated from happening, something that's destined to happen. You can delay it. You can delay it. And that is what I think has happened here. Okay. But in the end, you're going to be victorious. A win-win outcome. So they don't understand you now. They may not be down with it now. But things will change. This is all about a powerful change. Something you didn't expect. Where your North Node is concerned. Mm. Yes. Look at this. A metamorphosis. Yeah, you're like the butterfly. Those are butterflies. They've come out of their cocoon. And um, they are able to make a change. See, you've changed and people weren't ready for it. But um, the reason you were called for what you're supposed to do is for the healing powers, Virgo. And so that is what is going to be evident. That's what's going to come through. And oh, regrets. Everybody who went against you, who contributed to the deceit, the deception, talked about you, um, character defects, uh, put all your stuff in the newspaper. I mean, they just slandered you. They... Ugh. All because they didn't understand you. Well, they are definitely going to regret you. You know, people are afraid of what they don't know. But that should never stop you. Mm -hmm. Okay, spirit. Final words for Virgo. Mm. Yeah, you know, for all the work that you have done today, spirit gives you a red rose. Wow. Letting you know he loves you. You're on the right path. What you're doing is being compassionate, spreading love. Uh, and don't let anybody deter you from doing that. Yeah, you are protected. You may see feathers. And if you do, know for sure you're protected. But whether you see them or not, you're being led spiritually. And anything that spirit sends you out to do, he's going to protect it to make sure you're able, able to carry out his will. God does not send things out or make requests or make things happen for it to re be returned void. Never. You know, if he gives you a calling, a blessing, a charge to heal, then he's going to protect you to make sure you can carry out your calling. That's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment. I'm praying for you to not only answer your calling, but to, even though people are making you feel uncomfortable about it, to persevere in spite of what others say, you know what spirit is telling you to do, and it's going to make you happy. And it's for you personally, for nobody else. Okay. So 
I'm praying for your calling to um, show you to show you that it's something that you like to make you feel comfortable with it to make others feel comfortable with you and for you just to continue to change you're like this rose it's like you know the flower is opening up the bud is growing and that's what i see for you don't let anything stop you let's pray our father who art in heaven how hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power the glory forever and ever amen thank you so much for stopping by the channel virgo until the next moon phase thank you for all your love too for this year you've really come through for me i appreciate it and until the next moon phase namaste